Some people keep diaries. John makes records. I've always written from personal experience. Normally, in my case, it would be two o'clock in the morning drunk on my own with a drum machine and a electric guitar. So that bit is a greeting. Moaning to yourself and complaining generally. When did you give it out? That's basically it, you know, it's just like all poor miserable me. Great fun at the time, anyway. I said, very good for you. Cleansing of the soul. That's what I really like, is, uh, is the power of the notes. It's um, very good for the heat. Sometimes you don't have to sing a damn thing as long as you're playing and something. And then the music says it for you. John's most heartfelt album was Grace and Danger, released in 1980 after he'd separated from his first wife, Beverly. Show me one Beverly and John had met and married in the 60s when both were rising stars on the folk scene. They collaborated on a number of albums and started a family, but sadly, by the end of the 70s, their relationship had fallen apart. You had to talk to other people about their divorces. Mine was painful. It was enormous change in your life. You know, goodbye kids, goodbye missus, or goodbye home, goodbye da 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 And um, it's a sort of fighting against it, but you still you know it's inevitable. So it's, it's, it's a kind of a, it's a hard thing, but the, the, the songs are really good for you. Moaning down the microphone and singing the blues is very good for you. <laughs> Moaning well, down the microphone. Moaning down the microphone singing the blues is very, very cathartic. Did, it does so, help. So did you go into the whole thing then to, to write these songs as a p part of a process? No. Not at all, straight from the heart. It's important, I think, when you're in some ghastly emotional state to be truthful about it, because if you're not, then you, you'll hurt yourself. John's songs are an unavoidable consequence of his feelings. In fact, Beverly complained that so much emotion left John through his songs that there wasn't much left for her. Heart in Your Heart is the most emotional song in the album and shows just how deeply John was affected, and still is. You know, it's like, it's, you've got a lot to keep from crying, and sometimes you have to cry just because you have to cry. That album was the most personal thing I ever did. I've kind of, I've, I've drawn my horns in a wee bit since then. You said it's a personal thing, yet <laughs> it became one, it became a, a huge success as an album. How does mm. that make you, you feel, that people have this insight into your into your life and how you feel? I must confess, at the time, it never, never occurred to me that it was that personal. Your heart is gone. 